This is the fruity limiter, which can be used as a limiter, a compressor, or a noise gate. And I'm going to show you the basics of how to use this plugin. I'm not going to go into the crazy stuff like sidechain and all of that things. I'm just going to give you the basics of how you can use this for compression, limiting, and a noise gate. Down here at the bottom, you can toggle between limit and compress, or limiter and compressor. So you'll notice whenever you click compressor, you have the knee and the ratio option. Whenever it goes back to limit, it's just a ceiling and instead of a threshold. So this is basically just your standard brick wall limiter. By turning the gain up, you're going to turn up the volume of your input signal. But as long as you keep ceiling at zero dB, it will never go above zero dB. Wherever you have the ceiling at is where it will never go above. So you can bring this down and turn up the gain super high. And it'll give you a really crunched sound, but it will never go above this ceiling. Also, you can use the saturation knob in the compression and the limit mode and determine at what volume it's gonna start applying soft saturation. And this attack, release, and sustain, this is basically like ADSR volume envelope, except for how the compressor works. Attack is how long it's gonna take before the compressor activates. So having a longer attack is good if you wanna preserve transients. And then release is gonna determine how slowly or quickly it stops the compression. So if we turn on compressor mode, instead of having that ceiling like before, we have a threshold. So this threshold knob is pretty much the same exact thing as the ceiling knob, except you can edit it more. This knee is going to determine how, how hard it compresses it. See how the, the line is right now? That's almost brick wall limiting, but that line would need to be equal with the threshold for that to be a complete brick wall limiter. So basically when you change this to limit mode, that line that's above the threshold line is completely horizontal. And this ratio also affects the knee. And it's called a knee because, I mean, look, that shit look like a knee. So a higher ratio is heavier compression. Lower ratio is softer compression. So you can just play around with that to get, get it how you want it. And that controls the input volume, and it's never going to go above whatever you set the threshold at. My favorite way to use the noise gate is just going into presets and loading up noise gate and then it kind of gets it set up for you. So this threshold knob is kind of the opposite of the compression threshold knob. Wherever you set it at is where it's going to stop playing audio. So if we just do it a little bit. You see the audio will cut out whenever it gets to a certain volume. And this gain knob is going to control how much it mutes the audio. If you have it up all the way, it will basically not do anything. And if you turn it down all the way, it's complete silence. If you want to just turn down parts a little bit without doing them all the way, you can do something like this. And think of this release knob as basically how smooth the noise gate is going to be. If you have it down all the way, it's going to be very choppy. But if you have it up too high, it's barely going to do its job. So you can just play with that to get it exactly how you want it. And that's how you use the fruity limiter for most cases. This video is a clip from a longer video called the ABCs of FL Studio. And if you want to see that, check the video in the descriptions. Thanks for stopping by.